Well, this is actually the 21st year of our alternative federal budget. Uh, this is a project that's been going all the way since 1995 with Paul Martin's famous federal budget and the substantial cuts and austerity actually that were implemented in 1995. That was actually what kickstarted the alternative federal budget. So it's been going for 20 years. Uh, it now has, I think this year, we'll have 26 different chapters. Each chapter looks at a different area, things like post-secondary education, childcare, healthcare, uh, defense. Uh, it looks at each one of these issues. Each one of these issues is written by a different expert in the field, a progressive expert in the field. And uh, in addition to looking at various programs that we might want to implement, we also try to figure out how we could pay for these programs. So there's a substantial tax chapter that looks at different ways that we could change the tax system, increase taxes at the high end, change the way the corporate tax system works, to raise new revenues and fund programs that Canadians want and need. Uh, and so in this 21st year, we have about 100 contributors to the AFB. It's a substantial project. Uh, we actually hope this year to have it out uh, a couple weeks before the federal budget. And I think this year, in contrast to the last decade or so, um, there's actually a fair amount of overlap between last year's alternative federal budget and the Liberal platform. And so I think there will also be a lot of overlap this year between our 21st alternative federal budget and the Liberal budget that actually comes out, which may or may not be the same as the platform as it was introduced in the fall. Um, I hope that there are a lot of similarities. There were some good parts of the AFB that were borrowed and used in the Liberal platform, which I think is great. That's exactly what it's for. Very progressive pieces. Uh, and so I think that's very positive. And so looking forward, we'll continue to use the alternative federal budget as a means of advocating for well thought out ideas that are ready for implementation uh, and hopefully use them as a, as a menu for politicians to choose from and, and use in their own efforts so that we can implement programs that help all Canadians. Could you actually maybe give us some examples? I don't know if you have any uh, figures behind, but like what would be some examples of things that would be prioritized in the alternative budget and how would it differ from what's being proposed? Well, one of the things, for instance, we're proposing in this year's budget is free tuition across the country at universities. How much would that cost and how would we pay for it? Uh, one of the other things that Quebecers have, but the rest of the country does not have, is affordable childcare. So in Quebec, it's relatively affordable. Uh, in the rest of the country, it is absolutely not affordable. Uh, and so this year, we're introducing uh, measures that would involve the federal government in helping to work with provinces to provide affordable childcare across the country. Um, the federal government historically has had a role to play in health care, but its contributions to health care as a proportion of total spending have been declining. Used to be, or the original idea anyway, was that the federal government would provide 50% of the funding and the provinces would provide 50%. Uh, the federal government now provides about 15-20%. Uh, and so in this year's alternative federal budget, we boost that up to 30%. So we're not at 50-50, but we're closer. And we pay for it. Uh, and so the, the document is probably going to have in the neighborhood of 200 pages. E and, there were, and each one of these 25 chapters uh, has three or four different recommendations that are costed. They're practical policy ideas. And then the tax chapter has costed practical tax ideas so that we can put the whole thing together uh, and pay for the ideas, uh, but also provide a substantially different picture of what Canada could look like. This is fiscally possible. It's not a matter of, of, uh, of economics, it's a matter of politics that we don't have a more progressive Canada.